The Mercy Convent in Castlebar was once the home of the Earls of Lucan, a family which at the turn of the century still held the ground rent rights to an estimated 1,200 properties here. Many rents were bought out in the intervening years, but since the disappearance of the seventh Earl, Richard John Bingham, 20 years ago today, many of those liable to pay ground rent have refused to do so, although only one person, the owner of this bar, has actually been taken to court over the matter, and his case was in fact dropped on a technicality. I still don't know why I was brought to court. Uh, as there are scores and scores of people in, living in the town, living in the area, all their lives. They were never brought to court. They haven't paid ground rent, a lot of them. And I was just singled out. I resent it. I, 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 I don't think it's right to pay money to an invisible person. He may be dead and he may be alive. It's the principle of paying ground rent to absentee landlords that upsets those people who are still liable for ground rent. And I would like to see that sorted out either by the British government having Lord Lucan declared officially dead, which would allow for his son to take over the hereditary seat in the House of Lords and then deal with the assets of the Lucan Trust, or by some other method, uh, such as Coots and company bankers have initiated legal proceedings. So we'll have to wait and see what the outcome of that will be. The call to have the missing Earl declared dead, however, has been rejected by the Lucan solicitor in Castlebar. He says that's a matter for the family. It's not the business of a TD or a council or anyone in County Mayo. And if he were declared dead, it wouldn't have the slightest effect on the affairs of the estate because the estate is managed by a firm of bankers in London, Coots and Co. Deputy Kenny's hope nonetheless is that a declared successor to Lord Lucan would waive all rents and donate any monies collected to the benefit of Castlebar through something like an educational scholarship.